Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel, The KR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about AutoSAR layers. Before start to discuss about AutoSAR layers, first we have to understand why AutoSAR is important. Before AutoSAR, the complete ECU built based on the OEM requirement and OEM architecture. OEM has to instruct the requirement to supplier and supplier has to build the ECU based on the OEM requirement and OEM architecture. In this case, if OEM wants to change the supplier, then they have to instruct the same requirement to the new supplier. And the new supplier has to work based on the OEM architecture and OEM requirement. In another case, if supplier wants to change the OEM and they have to get the new requirement from new OEM. This both cases create more complexity as well as takes more time. At the same time, it leads to the more cost. To avoid this problem, they have introduced the standard called AutoSAR. AutoSAR is giving a common standard between OEM and supplier. This is the way AutoSAR has introduced. Now we can see about overview of software layer. Basically, the classic AutoSAR platform divided into three main layers. One is base software, second one is RTE, third one is application layer. AutoSAR basic software is further divided in the layers. One is service layer, second one is ECU abstraction layer, third one is microcontroller abstraction layer. So application layer is the topmost layer, RT is the middle layer and base software is the bottom layer. You can see in this slide, here I have mentioned about how the service layer split it into the multiple services. For an example, the service layer split it as a system service, memory service, crypto service, and offboard communication service, and communication services. The same way, ECU abstraction layer also has split it as a multiple abstraction. In the same way, microcontroller abstraction also split it as a multiple microcontroller drivers. You can see this slide here. We have detailed mentioned about what all are the modules will be the part of each service layer. For an example, BSWM, COMM, CSM, STBM, these all are some example is part of system services. The same way, NVM is part of memory service. And the same way, COM, DCM, these all are communication services. So if you will see here, the abstraction layer also has a different model in their section. The same way for microcontroller abstraction layer as well. First, we can start to discuss about microcontroller abstraction layer. MCAL is the lowest layer of the basic software. So, the MCAL will be developed and the same case, MCAL has contains about the drivers. So, the complete driver code will be written inside the MCAL. So, it contains internal drivers which are software modules with direct access to the microcontroller and internal peripherals. At the same time, microcontroller abstraction layer is tightly coupled with the microcontroller, meaning hardware. ECU abstraction layer. ECU abstraction layer is creating the interface between service layer and microcontroller abstraction layer. At the same time, ECU abstraction layer offers an API for access to peripherals and devices regardless of their location and their connection to the microcontroller. For an example, internal driver and external driver. And complex device driver. Complex device driver is also part of ECU abstraction layer. And complex device driver is useful when we are creating a non-standard functionality within BSW stack. And one more requirement is when you have a strict requirement constraints which may be lesser than the minimum timing of AutoS or OS resolution, then complex device driver will be useful. And we can take some example in which scenario we will create a complex device driver. One is injection control, second one is electric valve control, third one is incremental position detection and fourth one is a XCP. These all are some examples. But based on your requirement, you have to decide whether you need to create a complex device driver or not. Service layer. Service layer is the most important layer inside the base software. So service layer is creating the services. As we discussed earlier, it has a system service, memory service and communication services. The main work of the service layer is to provide services from R2 to the application layer or to from the microcontroller. So service layer is directly connected with the RTE. 
then service layer offers operating system functionality and vehicle network communication and management services meaning nm related and memory services relevant for nvm blocks and all and diagnostic services including uds communication error memory and fault treatment meaning dem date and ecu state management meaning ecum and mode management part of bswm and logical and temporal program flow monitoring watchdog manager so these all are the services will be offered by the service layer now we can see the most important layer inside of the autosar that is runtime environment so rt is the responsible to make a interface between application software component to the bsw so rt is the responsible at the same time to make a communication between one software component to another software component and above the rt software architecture style changes from layer to component style application layer application layer is the first layer of the autosar software architecture meaning topmost layer so application layer contains the multiple software component application layer has a multiple software component it means application software component sensor actuator software component nv data software component so it has the many and multiple software component we can see about the separate software component in a separate video and the same time this layer consists of specific software components and many applications which perform specific task as per instruction meaning application can perform a specific task we can take one example dimming the light of the vehicle is in one of the application that will be developed as a software component and will be placed in application layer now we are in the final session of this video and the final takeaway from this video is application layer has many software components so application layer has only a software components you can understand in such a way and bsw layer has three layers sub layers service layer ecu abstraction layer and microcontroller abstraction layer and rt rt takes care of communication between different ecus within the same ecu or between the basic software layer and application layer Thanks for watching this video. If you really like it, please share it to your friends. If you want to stay with us for more waters or technical contents, please subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.